Uh, hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to convert, uh, rip a DVD and convert and convert those ripped files into one file. You will need DVD shrink. I'll open it now. I'll put that all the downloads for this video in the com in the description. And yeah, I've already inserted my disc. I'm going to do triple X. and now you just have to wait for this to analyze the whole movie and I will just pause this for a minute and let this go through and then I'll resume okay we're back and this is just after this should come up after you have gone open disk clicked on the disk and let it um, render through or whatever it does. Now for this for this tutorial I am go not going to do full disk you can do it but I like to go reauthor and just choose the main movie and you just double click it and it should go over here and you can go to compression settings and you can just generally mess around with all these settings I'm not going to listen to this language in anything but English, so I'm just going to unclick these. This just adds more uh, adds more uh, languages. I'm not too sure what these do, but there's also this compression, which the bigger it is, the the better the video will be. But the bigger it, the obviously the bigger it is. Now, once you have your desired settings, whether it's full disk or reauthor, and whatever you want from there, just go back up. It'll ask you for where you want to put it. I'm just going to browse, and I'm putting this on my external hard drive. I should make new movie, make new folder. I mean, uh, works. Okay, that didn't work for some reason, just rename it triple X. Okay. And once you have all this you can just press OK. You can also create a video TS and audio TS subfolders, but I don't worry about that. I just click OK. And after this is done, see it's gonna take about twenty minutes some movies are more, some movies are less, but I'm gonna pause this and come back when it's finished okay we're back and um, this is what the screen is when it's finished backing up as it says there oh, this is all this information, you can click there to go to it total processing time 13 minutes 43 seconds again this varies from movie to movie and after that you can just close it down and another program you'll need. One sec, I'll just show you the um, files as they come out of DVD Shrink. See, there is like ten or nine files there. I mean, that's n that's no good to anyone. So, um, what I use is this Auto GK, and. I will put this in the description box as well and it's Gordian not or whatever that says but input file just browse and find where you saved the information the the files after you DVD shrink them and you can pretty much click on any file here but I like to go with the VTS01 underscore one just open and then I'll come up here input file yep output just change this to wherever you want it and rename it to whatever you want I'm going to rename mine triple X triple X movie I guess 
and uh, yeah, you can only ex you can only say this is an AVI. So just go save, and then I'll go there. You can change from preferred size to custom size to target quality percentage, but predefined size. I mean. I don't mind going two CDs, but I might go one. So I'm gonna go custom and go. Yeah, that's a gig, so that, that's good to me. You can also put subtitles in here. I don't, but I mean you can. It's also a lot of advanced features. I mean you can mess around with these things for like half a day and find the ones you like. I'm pretty sure mine are just presets. And once you have what you want, go add job and start. Again, this takes a long time, about hour, hour and a half, I think. Mine's usually about an hour. So I'm going to pause this and then continue on later. Also, um, this opens up some extra. Windows as it starts doing this. I mean, it doesn't look like much is happening. Just give it a while, and something will start happening. And again, I'll put all these, all the links for downloading the programs. So yeah, I'm gonna pause this and come back when it's finished. Okay, I'm back from. I'll. I'm back from using Auto G. Auto GK and it took an hour and 53 minutes but this movie is about I think an hour and a half long so it all depends on how long the movie goes for and I'll just show you the finished product when it starts opening up You can save this wherever you want, but I just save it straight to my home folder. Well, not my home folder, but the folder it comes in. So yeah, it's two hours and seven minutes long, and and as you see, it's one file. It's not all these separate separate files it's this one right here and I can put this wherever I want and it'll still play and as you see the quality is not that bad I mean the quality is pretty good for the size it's less than a gig so yeah also well, that concludes this tutorial but I want to be doing more tutorials in the future so if you guys have any ideas for software or software programs or anything that you reckon I should do just leave them in the comment box and yeah well thanks for watching